I still can't get over that people swim with orcas. <laughs> <laughs> Not me, man. Like, count me out. Yeah. I'd like I'd like to be like TJ and see him swimming alongside. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not. not. Get, I'm not getting in with them. <laughs> I mean, th they haven't been. You know, there's no documentation of them attacking. I just, I don't want to be part of the the research. Of the <laughs> research. Yeah. I'm gonna look at the neos. No, would it give me one sec to see Octans, how yeah. safe this is? Um, like Adam said, they they might hide this stuff. <laughs> You're from. Viewer, you're from a tropic island. You've never seen a night with a bunch of bioluminescence in the water. Yeah, believe it or not, American Samoa, we go what, um, night diving, night swimming. Um, not as strong of a bioluminescence in American Samoa. I don't know about other tropical islands, but not where I'm from. Yep, octane. <sighs> yep. I'm glad I'm not the only one. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on with the octane, Robert? Grounded. That's the culprit. This time around. Your book there? Hmm? The octane. Where are we? In terms of depth. So no oh, one has let me check died, <laughs> Like swimming with orcas, but oh, seven forty there meters. have been accidents with meters. boats trying to f to catch the fish where the orcas are like eating around. Yeah, and then yeah. the humans get into yeah. accidents, but it's not because of the orcas. So yeah. far. Would you swim with orcas? Yeah. Would I swim with orcas? I'd want to watch other people do it yeah. first. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. And then uh, yeah. I'd consider it. <laughs> what's what's the word on uh, orca eating human articles? <laughs> Have we found anything in the news? Uh, everything positive so far. <laughs> <laughs> um, the only thing is that apparently they go, uh, they they go to orcas feeding grounds, so where you see a lot of fish, they usually like go swim there, so you can see the orcas like eating and stuff, and that's usually areas where they also fish. So apparently there is more danger to fishing boats being around really close to humans in the water <laughs> than orcas. <laughs> more than the orcas. Yeah. <laughs> but even if, like, so I trust swimming with the whale shark, and so we like that would be amazing. Yeah, they're gentle. T they're gentle giants. Have you do? It? Have you done? It? No, but they look like gentle giants. They do. I didn't even really like swimming with sea turtles. Like what? Well, they're they're so facile in the water. It makes it makes you feel like a like a lump. <laughs> That's true. I've seen manatees in the water. Mm. Oh, and breaking oh. news. That's really cool. Are, are you sure you're looking on on YouTube? What happened? Oh, there's some YouTube. You check out YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> a tragic Ooh. sinking sailboats. Yeah. No, okay, but I think that they were in capture, y'all. Okay, but what happened, Jules? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Maybe in the wild. I'm out. But like. <laughs> Jules, what happened in the video? <laughs> I'm going to mute myself. <laughs> I'd be more interested. Oh. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Am I an SPM? You're making me doubt no. my orca no. swimming decision. Well, we have viewers <laughs> tuning in, like, and then one said, never been a documented killing in the wild, but they have attacked fishing boats. Yeah, they have attacked fishing boats and yeah, boats in so general. I 
I think they got a, a bad rap. There was just an article about a, a killer whale that apparently had a traumatic event and has oh. begun attacking boats. And what? Other killer whales are mimicking. No, it's in the Bay of Biscay uh, and off the coast of France. There's, yeah. uh, there's been a few oh, yachts. Wow. Right. Yeah, there's oh. been a few yachts attacked. Yeah. Or attacked, uh, uh, you know. The whales possibly are defending like their to territory. To the point of sinking the boat. Yeah. Oh, wow. They, oh, wow. Knock, they knock the keels. They go yeah. underneath and they break the yeah. keels off. So, yeah, so there's been two or three yachts that have uh, been targeted by uh, one particular family. I support the whales. <laughs> I was going to say, I like, support I, the whales. <laughs> I wanted to say, like, good for them, but, you know. Yeah. I wasn't sure if I could they say that. They were here first. There have been some sightings in the Caribbean, like orcas, but they haven't been classified or anything, so we Aww. don't know much about them. Wow. So maybe I can swim Puerto Rico with orcas in the future. How about really vaquitas? Cool. You want to swim with the, va the vaquitas? vaquitas? Oh. What's that? That's a little little pink dolphin. Ah. California. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's nearly extinct. It's, oh, yeah. it's very sad. Oh. That would be really cool swimming with the vaquitas. Are we there yet? <laughs> How long? Nope. Uh, 640 uh. meters. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll see sharks. Maybe we'll see sharks or something. That could be really cool. Cheyenne was telling us that yeah, so the white teeth sharks are, are around the boat. They're not that friendly <laughs> with humans. So if we were to accidentally tip overboard, uh, they Sorry. might like a snack. Sentry. <laughs> they might they might make a snack out of us. Ooh. 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 Yeah. Good dive, guys. This is a good one. This is a good dive. Yeah. We we saw a lot of coral. Right. And we got some rocks. Sampled uh, something that someone on shore requested. Yeah, we did. Provide uh, buttons for zoom, mini. screen capture. So that's <laughs> Look at all these widgets you can mess with. But why not? Publish targets <laughs> externally. Look at all these little floaty things we're passing. I wonder if we're near the scattering zone. A little deep a still, I think, 590. Think? Yeah. I think it's like between 300 and 500 or something. Also, would they be closer to the surface or further down at night? Closer remember. to the surface Closer at night, surface. I think. Yeah. Yeah. So no. Hmm. <laughs> so Jules, what part of Iceland do you want to see? Like, what's your number one? Oh, no idea. Um. <laughs> they have, like, the Northern Lights. That's yes. really cool. Yes. I would love to yeah. see the Northern Lights. That would be That'd amazing. Be a would that happen there in the south, like, in the Antarctic? 
<laughs> yep. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, they do. Dave answer. Oh. Yep. So in the north, it's Aurora Borealis, and in the south, it's uh, Aurora Australis. Oh, oh, wow. Noted. It happens oh. around the, happens around the poles. There. I've seen the northern lights lots and lots and lots. I said you should. Yeah. It's very cool. It's also really cold outside when you're standing outside looking at the, <laughs> oh, really? at the lights, yeah. But um, you get a really active aurora and they turn all kinds of colors, green and red. Wow. It's really interesting. Does that happen year round? Or is that it, seasonal? It, does it? it does happen year round. Ah. Uh, but you can only see it uh, in the wintertime because it's dark. Oh, okay. In the summertime at the poles, and the summertime at the north pole, uh, in the Arctic, uh, it's light. Well, above the Arctic Circle, it's light uh, most of the day. Oh, wow. That's really interesting. Takes some getting used to when you first move there. So in Anchorage, uh, on the summer solstice, uh, June 21st, mm -hmm. about 19 and a half hours of daylight. Wow. And the sun dips below the horizon for about three and a half hours, but it doesn't go very far below the horizon. <laughs> and so it's just kind of twilight right. for three or four hours, and then wow. uh, the sun comes back up again. Does that affect your biological cycle, like yeah. getting your sleep? sleeping schedule? Yeah. Exactly. People get messed up. Uh, mm. And yeah. Uh, the thing of it is, is that it, you could be outside, it's, you know, say it's uh, a weekend, and you're outside and you have a kids playing in the yard and it's barbecue and that kind of stuff and it feels like it's about six o'clock at night and it's really 11 wow. Oh, wow. and you can't tell the difference and that throws you off uh, but you know put put up good uh, uh, good curtains blackout <laughs> blinds blackout. on mm -hmm. your uh, on your window so you can sleep at night mm -hmm. yeah of course the opposite then is true uh, in the, in the wintertime uh, in December then uh, December, the uh, winter solstice, December 21st, mm -hmm. uh, then you get about, in Anchorage, uh, you get about four hours of daylight. Wow. And the sun comes up to about maybe 15 degrees on the horizon and then goes back down again. Whoa. And then it's dark. So you get up in the morning and you go to work in the dark and, and you go home at night in the dark. <laughs> and that must be so weird. That, yeah, and, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and that can be, that can be depressive and people, depressing and then people get the, yeah. you know, their, their oh, wow, uh, yeah. seasonal affective disorder lights and <laughs> that kind of stuff. Yeah. What? What Whoa. is that? What? Is that squ squid? That no? Cool. No, I don't think Worm? so. Worm? Fish of some kind. Little fish. Squiggly, Maybe. wormy thing. Wormy, wormy thing. I don't know how true this is, but are sharks usually more active at nighttime? Is that apply to all sharks, or is that... I don't think that's the case. Don't they, like, kind of sleep a little bit throughout the whole day? Oh, okay. Makes I, sense. I guess I've only seen sharks during the daytime, so... Yeah. But that's because I'm only looking during the daytime. <laughs> Sharks are the most active at dusk and mm -hmm. dawn when they are hunting. Mm. Mm. That's interesting. That's a, uh, like, you know, there's diurnal and 
nocturnal. There is some word for dusk and dawn active period. Could be the word of the day for Miriam Webster. Right. <laughs> Crepuscular. Yeah. Crepuscular. 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 Huh. That's a great one. How's it spelled? C R E P U S C U L A R. Hmm. That's so I don't know what the <laughs> That's something else. Crepuscular. I kind of thought, like, does it have to do with the Greek for cusp or something like that? Mm. I think Maybe. he might be on to something. Look up the etymology of crepuscular. <laughs> Oh, crepair, obscure, uncertain. Hmm. It is on the rise. Oh my God! Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's one of the it one of the top fifty baby names of twenty twenty four. Eighteen twenty, it was at an all time low. Bad year for crepuscular. <laughs> Yeah, they, we all remember the crepuscular time. crash <laughs> of 1819. It's it a rough road back. You know, this this reminds me a little bit of another graph I've seen. What? Oh. That of Climate rising change? temperatures. Oh. Is that a, do you think that's a coincidence? Probably not. <laughs> Probably, Probably not. not. <laughs> what is this show? What are these advertisements? <laughs> <laughs> what are these advertise? Seriously, these ads are something else. Oh, you gotta get me that. <laughs> she is a bit crazy and scares me sometimes. <laughs> You'll just you're on SPL. <laughs> oh. <laughs> just in case. Oh. Oh, we have a question for you. Go ahead, um, Bridge. What's up? Oh, hold on, let's hear from the bridge. Yeah. Charlie. Yeah, so one of the viewers asked, how long does it take to learn some of the core of their hearts to remember? <laughs> You're telling me. Uh, Jesus. No, it's true. I, I spent a long time annotating deep sea footage. Um, it can take a while. Uh, repetition helps. Sometimes within a dive, you can really get a, a coral down, but it also depends like what level of identification you want to get something down to. So species can be really hard, if not impossible in some cases, just by looking at it um, through like video. Um, I need Duolingo for corals. <laughs> yeah, we <laughs> that need would that. Be amazing. Someone make that. Does it help to physically like examine them for you? Honestly, yeah, yeah, it does. Um, like, 
when you see me asking to zoom in on things, like mostly it's because I need to see it closer to right. ID it. There's a lot of different corals. <laughs> what about rocks? No, it's easy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess it's like corals in the sense that there's a very broad classification, right. igneous, metamorphic, sedimentary, and then from there it gets deeper and deeper, and right. kind of like corals, you got to look real close in order to, you know, further identify them. I mean, sometimes you have to look at DNA to distinguish. Uh, we're on rocks now, so... <laughs> 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 yeah, but our viewers rocks. said that they were bored, and so <laughs> I was just trying to just trying to steer things back in an interesting direction. <laughs> yeah, and sometimes you have to look at the geochemistry, which is kind of like the DNA of the rock. <laughs> that was a great segue, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> is there a specific type of rock that you study or like you study all of them all for me, your research mostly basalt it's ah, kind of the oh. simplest one and so yeah it's it's is that why you chose it well it's also the most common <laughs> rock type on the sorry. planet mm. <laughs> The whole ocean floor is made up mostly of basalt produced at mid-ocean ridges. It's mm. pretty cool stuff, I have to admit. Yeah. For yeah. rocks? <laughs> <laughs> oh. What is that? Is that a fish? <gasps> what? Oh, it's a little fish. swimmer. It's got some swim to him. Yeah. Swimmy swimmers. Go ahead, Bridge. Uh, we have 12 minutes to the surface, but we'd like to start streaming forward a couple minutes before that. Thanks. When did you first become interested in rocks? Hmm. There's two stories, okay. the one that sounds good and the one that's true. That's so the one that sounds good is when I was five years old, living in Washington State, Mount St. Helens erupted. I saw the mushroom cloud or umbrella cloud from the volcano and said, I'm going to be a geologist. But that was not true. <laughs> I had no idea what it was. It was the true story, story is I went to college and... Minnesota, a very cold state, and had an opportunity for a, you know, undergrad research experience. And one of the places was Hawaii, which is a very oh. warm state. And I was like, I'm <laughs> going to Hawaii. That's also a good story. The first one was very poetic. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. But I do remember that eruption pretty vividly. Like, yeah. It was very cool. We wore masks to school, and the ash came down all over mm. the place. What do your kids think about the rocks? Hmm. And by the rocks, I mean your research. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I think they thought it was cool for a while, but then... They probably they don't like it when I leave for a month, you know. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. But I expect my son will probably come out on the ship someday. <gasps> wow! Really? Yes, it's awesome. My daughter, I don't think would wow. be too interested, but she would be totally welcome if she wanted to. Will he become? Will he become a rock geologist too? No, you know, interestingly, he told us this year or last year that he wanted to be a paleogeneticist. And we we're like, oh, isn't that nice? I don't think that's a real thing, but <laughs> I love that you're interested. And then a paleogeneticist won the Nobel Prize last year. Oh. So it's a thing. It's a thing. 
And he's going to be one. He's going to he pretty much got it from like Jurassic Park, but <laughs> How old is he? He's 11. He got it from Dinosaur Train, dude. Dinosaur Train, yeah. Time tunnel approaching. <laughs> <laughs> the Jurassic time period. <laughs> <laughs> Dinosaur Train. <laughs> yeah. So they're saying there's like two uh, origins of humans now? Like two distinct... Oh, really? Lineages? Lineages, yeah. What about mitochondrial Eve <laughs> there was like one woman who was the progenitor of us all well, there's the saying there's, there's two, two. Of, well of homo <laughs> sapiens oh yeah it is crazy to think that there were a bunch of different kind of like speciations in proto-humans that didn't make it yeah Hmm. Has anyone done the like twenty three and me thing? No. Oh, twenty three and me. Yeah. That's that's the like yeah. you send in your genetic material and they tell you oh. you're yeah from part here and part from here. <laughs> yeah, I did. I have not. You did? I did ancestry dot com. Okay. Oh, it's similar. Yeah. I did it, but I don't have any of the cool paleontology or something that they have, like, <laughs> for the ancestors. Yeah, no. I well, where did it say your ancestors were from? It said, like, 40% from the Caribbean mm -hmm. and then another big chunk from Europe. But uh -huh. I know before coming to Puerto Rico, my great-grandparents were from Italy. So oh. it would make sense a tiny bit. Okay. And Dave, what about you? Uh, it turns out that I'm mostly Irish. Oh. How about that, TJ? <laughs> <laughs> my, uh, my ancestors uh, came over from Ireland about 1700, likely indentured servants, likely couldn't grow potatoes, uh, settled in the, uh, in the Virginia uh, area, uh, Appalachian Valley area, uh, and then uh, made their way Westward ended up as homesteaders in uh, Oregon Territory. Wow. They're from around uh, Munster and Leicester. Munster? Yeah. Oh, Munster, that's the region. So yeah. Ireland is uh, Munster, Leinster, Connacht, and Ulster. The province. Leinster, that's it, yeah. yeah. So it's pretty broad. I mean, not, not down to any particular village or, uh, or, or anything. But uh, that's 150. One yeah, so it's kind of interesting. Have you done the test, Adam? I haven't done it, no. I was scared at first because I'm giving my DNA to a bank well, <laughs> that collects DNA. Over. Yeah. Brezhnev? Do you know where in Italy your family came from? My so that was like not known to you before, or did you know that? I knew it. My second uh, last name is Palua, and that's a town in Italy. So is I own what is it? A town in Italy. With the name again, sorry. Oh, Padua. Oh, right, Padua. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But aside from that, we don't really talk about it in okay. my family, so I was like, ooh, look, <laughs> it's there. Yeah, I'm trucking to the starboard side. I remember when COVID started, and one of my professors at college saw my second last name. It was like, you're not coming from Italy, are you? <laughs> that's, yeah. that's where COVID is spreading really fast. Oh, oh. my gosh. <laughs> was like, I do no. remember, yeah, they had a really rough time with it. Yeah, it was bad.
No one had Italy on their places to go. That's a great place. Mm. Got volcanoes there. Oh, there's a squid. <gasps> squid! Photo, oh. photo. That was really and cute. Another. 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 Hopefully we'll get to see. Oh, oh that one got oh. scared. Oh. It inked. Oh. Oh, there oh. Put, oh. Hey, new chance. <laughs> What's happening here? Uh, They're attracted they? to the light. Yeah. Oh. Maybe we'll see some mahi come in. Try and yeah. Catch them. Oh, that is so cool. That would be amazing. <laughs> what? What is what? What is that? That's their ink. Their, okay. Oh, that's their ink. Those are like... They really don't like the ROV <laughs> if they're throwing that much ink. Oh, oh there shark. was a shark. <laughs> it went through the Atalanta cam there. Yeah. Looked I like think two. What? Black tip. It looked like a black tip on Oh, there we go. Let's go. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Whoa. That was a big one. Oh. This is bogus. Whoa. Oh, she had a white tip. Go ahead, Bridge. Are those fish or squid? Fish. Great, thank you. Um, confirming, Captain, that uh, we'll be uh, reducing thrust to 25% once uh, to get Atalanta on board, and then we will continue with the plan to move forward and not hold position to bring Herc on board. Copy, thanks. Moving over to channel one. All stations, Captain on the bridge. Break, break. Uh, we will uh, bridge. Let's uh, track line forward 0 0.3 knots, please. Okay, Roger. Uh, mm -hmm. Moving forward 0 0.3. Looking better. See, I'm looking at you. Yeah. All right, I'll stop at five zero meters. I'm gonna yank you around. Roger. Here. Just a second. Jack, man, five zero meters. Roger that, five zero meters. Yanking you around. Yep. Big break, bridge, back deck. Are we uh, clear to go ahead and continue? Negative. Charlie to go ahead. Do that continuing recovery. Yeah. All right. Uh, deck, we're at 0 0.1 knots right now. So that, will you uh, notify me when we reach 0.3? Copy. All right, Atalanta thruster is disabled. <gasps> Get your, yeah, your cameras up. Everything's cool. Yep, camera's up. Zero. Oh, a nice iPhone for. Oh, nice.
Deck nav, 0 0.3 knots. Do that, 0 0.3 knots. Side. <laughs> I'll line it up for the goal. Never happy. <laughs> <laughs> Can't please everyone. Uh, Mezzo's off. Mezzo's on. Mezzo's are off. Mezzo's off, Roger. So it doesn't clear until it resets? Doesn't clear? A little blips. I guess they're not oh, active. Duh. Not active blips. No active flipping. They were. Oops. Yeah. Now they're not. Van deck. Uh, we have Herc. Light lining up in between the goal posts and a little bit of support. Roger, goal. Ish. Kind of. That ROV from Buffalo is always wide, right? <laughs> I think that was a sports ball joke, but. Yeah, it was a. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know an ROV from Buffalo, though. <laughs> Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, but why are you guys still in here? You should be watching outside. We could yeah. be needed for science oh, at right? any I moment. Will not. <laughs> Good night, everybody. <laughs> Good night. Yeah, you might not be able to see any rocks right now, but there's still dissolved minerals. In the ocean. Oh, what happened? <laughs> Another beep. Yeah. The video reset beep. Roger. What caused that? Bridge, please reduce thrust to 25%. And Atlanta, uh, coming up slowly. Do you think that was a fish? Is that a propeller fish? too much, huh? They can't get their poles out that far. Oh, there you go. Get it, get it. That's even with the reduction. Oh, a shark on Hercules. There you go. One down, two down. Five. Whoa, that's a good one. Oh, a uh, calm jelly?
And deck, uh, can you have Herc uh, pull ahead, please? Roger, going forward. Yeah, go for it. Oh. Oh, I'll stop. Oops. <laughs> Too much pull. I quit yanking. That's new. It's usually better when you don't, when you're not yanking on it, like, cause then it's all yeah. wild on the deck. No yank. Back it down. Back and down. Deck RV is backing down. Has been backing down. Okay. See all hooked up? Yeah. Ooh, uh -huh. another shark. Let's not do that again. And Zach, if you can go ahead and reduce thrust on uh, Herc. Do what with her? Reducing thrust on Herc. Copy that. Gonna have to rethink the uh, yeah tie down system if we're gonna continue streaming forward. I don't really like the oh it popped off again. Yeah, that's no good. I don't think it's because of speed though. No, there's just more tension on it, right? Oh, well, I mean, I can back down easy. Oh. He wanted me to drive out. Yeah. So. Yeah, well, I can keep it slack. See, there's slack in the tender. Yeah. Something's amiss there with the hole. Yeah. Yeah, so now is when I need to be yanking on it to keep tension on the on the crane there.
Band deck. Uh, Herc is 20 meters from the transom. Copy. Deck, can you go ahead and slow to point one meter or point one knots ahead, please? Okay, Roger. Can you go ahead and hold position here? Roger. Power secured. Deck nav, power secure.